respectively. Tammy McIver is in two and they're all in now. So the green light set to bounce. Race two at the Meadows. Favoured in the check. Set. And they're racing. Tammy McIver jumped well near the inside. Willow Bell went out fast. Tammy McIver's going to lope up within a length through the first corner. And Yamanu Bell posted wide but gets over to third. They're clear to more boost Rico. And then Eco Bell trying to wind up from Paul Whistler, King Eternal. And Velox Bell at the end of the field. So Willow Bell snuck away. Led by two, Tammy McIver, who's trying to hone in. Then Yamanu Bell and Eco Bell. They're both running on. It's still Willow Bell turning the leader. Tammy McIver's closing and late between them. In fact, Yamanu Yamanu Bell storms out wide. Oh, they're all over the place. A photo finish. Willow Bell on the inside or Yamanu Bell. It's a very close go. Third, I'd say Tammy McIver, a nose to Eco Bell, who just had nowhere to go in the last 50 metres. Had them cold if he got through. Uh, they were clear to Morbus Rico, then Paul Whistler back with Velox Bell and King Eternal. 30 and 14. This is really close. The seven gets it. Yamanu Bale wasn't sure where to look turning for home. It looked as if Eco Bale was going to be the one to burst through and win, but the door may have closed. Just raced a shade greenly trying to get over heels, and at the end, Yamanu Bale has picked them up in the last hop right down the middle. So it will be number seven gunning down the red. Willow Bale, who was the best back late, just goes down. Number two, Tammy McIver holds down third, and it was the eight Eco Bale in for fourth placing. Just having a look, you could just see Eco Bale. If he had have stayed on the inside of the leader, he would have won the race, but he tried to get over heels and the run just was not there.